Hello, welcome to the first official episode of Low Budget Visions. This is a video series uh, dedicated to sharing, finding, and uh, celebrating all of the really personal, DIY, truly independent films that are out there and the visionary artists who are creating them. As the title of this series uh, says, you know, that this is, this is dedicated to films that are made with uh, very limited resources, you know, low budget, um, uh, accessible equipment that, uh, you know, using whatever tools that you have at hand to, uh, to create the film. And I think even more importantly than that, about putting your vision on the screen. Um, and this idea of, you know, uh, putting your vision out there, even if it's, uh, even if it's not for any kind of uh, commercial gain or, um, you know, instant recognition or anything like that, I think that's really central to uh, the whole ethos of the types of films that I, you know, want to help uh, share, celebrate, and shine some light on uh, here through this series. So I, saw, I thought I would start off with this with this question about, you know, uh, why even make a movie, right? Uh, and I think this is something that um, it's easy to get hung up on this question if you're just starting out, right? If you if you are uh, just starting out with the idea of making your own films, you might kind of get hung up on. You know why am I doing this? Well, I think I think the answer to that is because you want to, because you have something to express. Whether that's an idea that you want to get across, a, a, you know, a point or a message you want to express, or a story that you want to tell. And uh, I think the you know I would kind of turn it around. I would say rather than asking uh, you know why make a movie, I would say why not make a movie, right? We've got all the technology in our pockets now with the uh, smartphone cameras. I'm shooting this on the Google Pixel Five, which I recently. Uh, picked up it has a you know excellent video uh, feature on it, um, excellent camera. Uh, we have you know there's so many options now for editing software. I use a program called Movie Magics that I got. Um, I, f I forget exactly how I how I had learned about Movie Magic. I think I actually picked it up originally years ago uh, when it was being sold uh, on on a. Uh, CD-ROM at an electronics store, but now it's you know you can you can purchase it for download. It's, again, it's all you know, just getting simpler and more affordable all the time. Uh, and that's something that I think anybody who's just starting to wade into the territory of making their own films or videos is uh, is you know becoming aware of, of course, is is just how affordable it's getting and how accessible all the tools are getting. It's funny. I was thinking about when I started. Um, making my own films and as a, as a kid, as this was in uh, 1993, and I had wanted to make films for quite a while at that point. I don't remember, ex you know, for exactly how long or anything, but I know that I had the desire to do it, to to make films, to tell stories on camera, um, long before I had access to a video camera. And back then, that was really the only way you could do it. Uh, and and if you you know had a family camcorder. And my family did not. So for me, it was kind of frustrating because I had all these ideas just stating, you know, that I and little ideas for movies that I wanted to make, but I really couldn't do it until I had a camera. And that came um, through a in the form of a, a gift from my uncle to our family at the Christmas of 1993. And I remember I was so excited to ha finally have access to a camera that I actually went out that that night, the first night we had it. And, and made a little uh, made a little movie, so of course now um, you know I was I was nine years old at that time. I think any uh, anybody who is you know well, really any age now. I mean whatever age you're starting out, it doesn't matter. That the point is that if you're if you're just venturing into this for the first time now, uh, it's a lot more accessible to get your hands on a camera and start telling your stories and putting your ideas across. If, if I think back on it, the, probably the, the thing that drew me most, uh, most of all to making films was that I loved storytelling. Uh, I loved writing short stories, I loved coming up with stories, and there was something about doing that in the format of you know, film and you know, video that really appealed to me. I, I, loved, um, I loved that idea of telling stories on film, and that I think is really what led me to you know pick up the camera and, and to start doing that um, 
And I don't remember that there were any particular types of stories that I want, you know, genres or anything like that that I wanted to make. I think for me it was just a, having an outlet for it, having an outlet to tell those stories, to share those ideas. Um, and even though nobody, you know, outside of my family saw my early movies, it was still very rewarding for me to be able to do that, you know, to look at what I had done and uh, think about how I could do it better the next time and that sort of thing. Anyway, leave your thoughts on that in the comments, and I'll be back soon with more videos, and I will talk to you later.